How are we doing everyone? This is Bow Hunter, and today we are starting a new game. We're going to go ahead and start Sekiro. Uh, I'm going to go through and play all the Souls games before uh, Elden Ring comes out, hopefully in February. So I'll try, I'm going to try to get through them all. I'm going to do Sekiro first, then Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and then Dark Souls 3 in, in order. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the default Japanese. I just like the audio a bit better that way. Let's go ahead and watch the opening cutscene. <laughs> all the opening cutscenes of these games are just awesome. I've played through all of them on the PS4. I really enjoy all the games. But, so I had to rebuy them on Steam to, uh, so I could play them on the computer, but I think it's totally going to be worth it. The graphics already look amazing. It's been a long time since I've played these games, so it'll be fun, uh, fun little challenge to go back through them before February. That's going to be us for people who don't know. That's going to be our father. Tomonikuruka. The one-armed wolf. Alright. Super excited to replay these games. It's been quite some time, so. And I think since I bought the Game of the Year edition, I also get... I think I think that there's a new mode, like it's like a boss, boss rush mode, that uh, I think everyone gets. So that one, that'll be pretty cool. I've never played that, that before, so that'll be pretty interesting. Alright. I'm probably going to go quickly through all the dialogue in the game, but I did just want to rewatch just the opening cutscenes. 
And if I can't remember there's boss cutscenes in this game. I, I do not remember. We'll probably rewatch all of those. Alright. Dang, it does look super cool on the PC. Pick up the item. X. There we go. I think it wants me to go the other way. Yeah, I can't do anything here yet. Jump. Those don't do anything. Crouch. Okay. Double jump. Crouch. Nothing back there, right? Alright, we're going this way. Quick tutorial area. Yep. The shinobi at the bottom of the wall. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. Alright. Don't I go through? Oh, I'm eased. Oh, he's dropped. Okay. That's right. Ledge hang. Yeah, the combat's great in this game. The movement. When you get the shinobi tools and all that stuff, it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and go across. Nope. That's right. Okay. And just Kuro. Alright, here we go. Secret passage, read whistle. Okay, cool. Hug the wall, I think. Can I go upstairs? Let's see what's upstairs. Oh yes. Pick that up. Pellets, nice. Healing gourd, pellets. Uh held blah blah blah. Okay. Cool. How do you like that? Oh yeah, up up on the D pad. Okay, cool. And open. Uh, Shinobi Death Blow. Right bumper. Okay, sneak. We're gonna death blow one, and then we're just gonna fight the other one. Oh, wait. And let's see. Lock on. Come on. All right. I thought he was gonna throw an attack down, so I could actually practice dodge. Uh, not dodging. What is it? Uh. Uh, pairing again, that's it. There we go. Uh, 
deflection. That's right. Nice. Uh, oh, he was just falling over. Okay. All yeah, right, lock on. Can we go back up here and kill these guys? Let's see. Yep, we can kill him. Anybody in here I can kill? Uh, I guess not. Okay, we're going this way. Good parries. All right, we got the big boy. Bad one. Nah, that's a bad one. Yeah, that's a better one. Too early. Right. A lot of those were way too early. I let my posture bar go up a lot. Alright, off to this way. Oh, take that. Jump. drop on you guys I forget is I think it may just be lore for the, for eavesdropping for the most part I don't think it actually does anything really for you little troll dude eat All right, let's call Kuro. So essentially, we're just trying to get this kid out of the castle uh, right now and uh, to safety or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. All right. What you got? <laughs> Onward. Is there a run button in this game? that do? I don't know. Alright. First little tutorial boss. Hisashina, Miko. Ojiwe no Bozen Iraika. This is the main protagonist, Genichiro. Yep. Protagonist, antagonist, what am I saying? Yeah, 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 let's do it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's usually how it goes. Yeet. There goes our arm. Shinobi to te kono teedo ka. Miko wa morat te ikuzo. 
Yep, so essentially we get a Garm cut off, and then uh, he takes the Divine Air, Kuro, and, you know, just kidnaps him and holds him hostage or whatever. Yeah, we essentially get saved by this guy. He's the one who gives us our prosthetic arm, so now we have this cool arm that we can do a bunch of things with. Remnant. Oh, this must be... Uh... 30 seconds, funny. Okay. What do you call yourself? Okay. We're just going to run through the dialogue, just so we can... See what's going on. So essentially, we have the the divine heir's blood, or he gave us like some some of his blood is like a gift, so he we can get resurrected. Essentially, let's go ahead and go this way. There we go. We want to keep as much money in coin purses as possible till we actually want to spend them. Because that's like the one main thing about death dying in this game. Okay, what is this? Uh, Kaleidite Remnants. Oh, okay, yeah, so it just shows how people die. That's fine. Because the main, like, bad thing that happens when you, like, die, die is, uh, you lose money, or you have a chance to lose money. And losing money kind of sucks when you need to buy stuff. So we're going to go ahead and keep as much stuff in coin purses as possible. Let's see. This guy's going to teach us some stuff. Face me in battle. All right. Uh, inspect offering box. All right. Yeah, so we kill him and he comes back. He's essentially just a training doll. Wonder... Does he do anything else? No, we can... Uh -huh. Okay, accept. He's a... Secure for boredom, training... Tags. Does this do anything for us? Can't remember if like beating him does anything. Okay, now nope, we're not gonna bother with them. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, yeah, I can wind up, block. Ah, right, there we go. Now we have the grappling hook. Uh, oh, L, left trigger. Okay. Alright, left trigger is grappling hook, right trigger is prosthetic tool. I don't have any tools yet, but once we get them. Alright, let's go ahead and commune. Yes, yep, okay. Yep, okay. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, and these sugars essentially act as buffs for us. Alright, it's fine, whatever. Uh, 
So the way the combat works is we have that posture bar. Uh, oh, that's right. That's what it. Uh, that's what that thing is. Okay. So we have the posture bar at the bottom by essentially where where our feet are, and they have the same posture bar under their health bar, and. We just want to be able to. We want to break their posture bar before. Uh, oh, I, I, maybe I need a skill to do an assassination. Uh, we want to break their posture and kill and do a death blow before they break our posture and do a death blow. It's essentially the combat. Uh, let's go ahead and get all this stuff. Effect deflecting protects our health, but if I if I miss a deflect, and I take a I just straight up take a hit. Uh, I see I already lost some health from it. Let's see. Can I not assassinate him? Do I? Oh, maybe. Alright, that... Nope, stop hugging the wall. Oh, I already got that thing. Okay, cool. The little gold things on the floor is just loot sacks, essentially. Let's see if I can jump over and... Yeah, come on. Oh, I can't jump that high? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to scale a wall. Oh well. That's fine. Uh, as wrecked. Yes, yes, I know. I was just trying to climb something and I got screwed. Okay. So now above our health bar we have our resurrection bar. And the way so it was X'd out when I died. And the way you get it back is by performing death blows on people. Come on, you little dog. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. I think there's a. There should be a. Oh, there's the run button. Thank you. Okay, it's circle. Let's commune with the idol. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually have to rest. What the hell? Oh, game freaked out on me for a second. And crashed. <laughs> uh, it was possible the last ended without selecting game quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, continue. Okay, let's see where it was. Yep, there we go. Game just wanted to kill me. Literally crash just to kill me. It's alright. Yeah, I know. Hey, stop that. Sorry, cat issues. Hold on. Come on. No, no. Trying to get out of the computer. Alright. And. Rest. 
shadow stuff. Why do I have? I'm not sure why I have t two resurrects. It's kind of weird, but for now, I'm gonna worry about it. Okay, there was the shuriken wheel. Yes, yeah, so I'll go back to the sculptor. So the sculptor is essentially every time we go get we get a new tool like that, we just go back to him and uh, come on. Bang. It's like this. We do this. Travel. Go back to the, te the temple. Here's Emma. This is like the Kuro's other servant. So we can bring her gourd seeds and she can up our heals. The amount of heals we can do. So I can talk to this guy and give him the shinobi tool. Present tool. Fit new tool. Alright. And create. Alright. So can I see? Yeah, that's right. So take my prosthetic, throw it on there, and now we can chuck shurikens. Yeah, we need spirit emblems in the bottom right hand corner to be able to use the the prosthetic tools. And we get them by just like essentially killing people. And like we there's different tools for different things and uh like in different boss fights like you want to use different ones. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. If I remember Karaya these stupid roosters. Mean bastards. Uh, that's fine. See these guys with like with two health bars. If you have trouble with them, the one thing you want to do is try to sneak to them a little bit and assassinate them for one health bar. That way, uh, you only have to deal with one other one. Oh, shit. So we're gonna go ahead and hide. Lock on. And hit him with one death blow. Perilous. Okay, so now we only have to deal with one of his faces. Nope. Let's go ahead and hit a heal. Nope. Oh, okay, here's a follow up to that. Don't do that. Jump. Alright. Not bad. Let the posture bar get a little high. And so, from every mini boss, we get prayer beads. And these prayer beads are going to be used to up the amount of health. Oh, he gives us a board seat off of that. I didn't remember that. So we'll take the gourd seed to Emma, and she'll give us um, uh, more heals. All right, that's good. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do it real fast. That way, I don't have to waste any pellets healing up. Go ahead. Yep, go this way. And go here. Commune. Enhance. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so you need four prayer beads. 
uh, to have your health, the amount of health that you have in your bar. Uh, all right, let's talk to Emma. Hmm. Yes. Talk. Give the gourd seed. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and see if we can't find another mini boss real fast. This way. Let's see if we can grab. Oh yeah, the enemy seem to spawn. Oh. See you, buddy. Uh, I could have sworn there was. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just get going. So we killed the guy here. Now we go around. Crouch. One down. Yeah, at least you're, you're invincible while you take, uh, getting as soon as you get out, it's like... Good. That's the one thing about me. you do not want to get like swarmed in this game because you have to fend off so many different attacks from different people. Okay, that's right. You have the poke too. I remember that. Auto target the man. There we go. Oh, it actually holding X works on those two, huh? I didn't I didn't realize that. Nice. See, that's a, what about this game too. Was like, if you really wanted to, you could stealth around this entire game, and then the only part you'd have to like really practice combat is like b actual boss fights. But we're gonna go ahead and try to kill as many people as possible. Talk to the old lady. Uh, say nothing. <laughs> So, take it. Cool. Thank you. So we can take this and access the different area of the game. So what you do is you take that, you take it back to the sculptor, the old man who gave us a prosthetic, and then uh, you go ahead and offer it to that little Buddha statue he was talking about, and it'll take you into the past, essentially. They look weak, but they hit like trucks. Okay, so that's fine. I think if we go... 
Now we were up there already, right? Ooh, there's a big boy right there. These guys you really want to stealth kill because they ab will absolutely kill you in like one or two hits. <laughs> Can I do anything here? No, that's where we came from. Okay, that's where we came from. Oh, yeah, the crows are up there. I was like, what is that? Noise? That's right. Light coin purse. We want to go talk to this guy. There we go, that's how you get up here. Nice. Nope. Purchase item. Okay, let's see what he has. He has some antidote powder, he has some pellets. Pellets are essentially just extra heals. So those are always nice. We definitely gonna want the firecrackers. We have a hundred. Okay, so So the, the firecrackers are another shinobi tool. We definitely gonna want those. Those are a hundred each, and I have two, so I have two hundred, three hundred bucks. Okay, so another two hundred bucks, then I should be able to buy them. Definitely want those for the first boss. Uh, we got a cannon guy. Got a gotcha and sugar, nice. Ooh. Ooh, that takes a lot of health this early in the game. Let's go ahead and drink that. Am I supposed to go that way? Ah, god damn it. I'm pretty sure this is the way I have to go. God damn it. Oh yeah, you can't even resurrect when you just do a falling death. <laughs> so annoying. It's fine. I thought I thought that was a Juzo statue. I didn't think it was just a gotcha trigger, but Nope, don't go back down that way. Yeah, the enemies respawn on death in this game, so we'd have to re-kill everyone we just killed. It'd be, it would be a pain, so we're just going to go ahead and run past him. That man's angry already. Those guys, again, the slower, usually it's like, you know, the slower the enemy moves, the uh, the harder they're going to hit. Those guys, they will mess you up. Pretty much any enemy in this game, if, if they get a hold of you, get a hold of you, you're pretty screwed. Uh, can I get in here yet? I guess not. Do I got enemies down here? Ah, yes. Hello. Alright, that's right. We need to talk to him later. 
go ahead. Then we got. Okay. Oh, who the hell sees me? Oh, the stupid chicken. Or the rooster, whatever. Yeah, those things are usually essentially like alarm clocks. Or not alarm, what am I saying? Uh, alarm systems in this game. So, like security alarms. So, if they see you, they'll crow and then everyone else just come running. Yeah, we're gonna kill this guy first. Now there's the ogre. There's rooster. I remember there's there's a way to go up and get a backstab on him. Follows us. All right. I feel like he's not supposed to follow you all the way over here. Oh yeah, now he's like falling back. Eh, weird. Aggro on you? I can't remember. You know what? Let's just go this way real quick. I can't remember if there's a closer statue, so we don't have to run back every time. Seems like. No. Alright. Let's give it a shot then. Maybe heal. Yeah, sure. Not. There's a good chance we're gonna die here, so. Get out. That was. That was. Okay. Yeah, that was quick. Get out. There it is. Circle. Out. Oh. Up. Oh. Alright, he does a double kick. Resurrect. Get that out of the way out of that. See what happens if he grabs, because then it, it gave me a prompt. Ah, yeah. oh, damn it! How did that not? God damn it! <laughs> Could have sworn I dodged in time. All right, here we go. Unseen eight. Yeah, so that's our chance that if uh, we die, we don't actually lose anything. Yep. Yep, going this way. Oh, 
But yeah, let's go ahead and kill these guys again. Okay, so there is a triple. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, what does this do? Oh, that's me just... Ooh, mid-attack. Too greedy in this game. Now, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a chug so we don't just die from one hit. Come on, do something. Get out. Ooh, that hurt. Get out. Okay, one death blow. There you go. Okay, good fight, good fight. I'll take it. I just had to, you know, get back in the groove of killing him. Nice. Okay, Shinobi Medicine. Alright. Let's go kill this spear guy real fast. And then we'll save the game. Can't mess with those yet. Later we'll get an ability to protect ourselves against those attack those types of attacks. 
Nice. All right. Got a monocle. Ooh, a gourd seed. Very good. Ceramic thing. Those are essentially just like pebbles to get enemies' attention. Door does not open from this side. Well, it doesn't open from this side. Oh, but oh, okay, it's supposed to from over there. Okay, let's see what's over here real quick. We'll go find ourselves another little uh, Buddha statue. Oh, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Another mini boss down there. We don't want to mess with them just yet. Who the hell? There we go, divine confetti. Yeah, we don't want to go that way yet. Pretty sure it's the Buddha should be right over here. Somewhere. Uh, yeah. No, I think it's over here. There we go. And commune with the statue. And rest. Nice. All right. Uh, we don't have those. Oh, yeah. So we can only buy spirit emblems right now. Menu, yeah. Here we go. Here's the skill menu. We... Shinobi medicine. A latent skill that increases healing effect of okay, yeah, so I can put points into this and I will I'll heal I'll be able to heal myself more, that's right. But I think we're gonna lay off that for now. We want to get some ones that do better attacks and stuff, that'd be better. So let's go talk to Enma Enma and Emma and uh, turn in the second gourd seed, and I think we're gonna call it for tonight. Got two little mini bosses done. Maybe I'll go do that third one uh, first thing when we get back on tomorrow. Lofty Temple, perfect. All right. No. Give the gourd seed, increase our health, and don't have more. Ah, uh, that's right, okay, then we can do that. Or we can go do the other area. Oh, maybe we'll go do that too. Alright. I have a hundred bucks. No memories yet. Okay. And I think we're gonna call it there. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll pick it up from here tomorrow and get started on uh, a few more mini bosses. Maybe we'll start the old Ashina territory. Thank you, and have a great day.